I was actually expecting a lot more than that. So I'm actually quite surprised because yesterday it at one point <laughs> it showed me about 85, 86. Okay, fair enough, it was like in the middle of the day, but yeah. I'll explain why. I thought it might be a bit higher and why it was that dramatically high. Been a bit naughty at the weekend. Anyway, gonna vlog today. Gonna go and hit put a little back session this morning early. Back workout done, breakfast done. Now it's time to go and do some modeling. Modeling for a while this morning. Time to get my beard game nice and strong and get my pounce on. Not really, let's go. Maybe tilt your head slightly forward doing that. That's it, yeah, perfect. Well, complete. Time to get home, get a bite to eat. Good two and a half hours now today. Really enjoyed it. Back to doing that again. Um, when I get in, I'll be discussing why I thought my weighing might be a little bit heavier this morning, but it wasn't. And then I will. Um, be carrying this vlog over until Friday to show you my new calories and my new macros and what I'm going to be going about and how I'm going about training and nutrition over the next few weeks. So I'll see you back at home. Hey, yes, a good good cut of hours this morning, shooting with well. Um, the reason I thought I would probably weigh heavier this morning is because of the um, weekend that I had. Well, sad anyway. This happened. I didn't think it would be that much, so I sat down and worked it all out on my fitness pal to a T and yeah, to shoot under just 9,000 calories and to be fair it didn't, it was, it, it was easy to get it in, that was the scary thing, could have gone more, so one day I'm going to have to do a challenge on this channel and do like a 20, 20k calorie challenge because I think I could easily do it, um, yeah, it was, that was bad and felt like crap the next day. I just want to say that um, even though I, people do tell me when I work in the gym that I have probably the best willpower they've ever seen in terms of training for a show or nutrition, not crumbling, not giving into temptation, but I can also go the other way as well. I'm not just superhuman. I'm not just a, all, all the time shredded, have a six pack and just eat vegetables and chicken all day long and never, never enjoy myself. Um, I find it tough to especially this weekend, I found it tough to stop. I think when I have no real goal in mind, as in like getting ready for something, a holiday, a photo shoot, a competition, I don't need to be shredded, need to have a six pack. So I basically go for it with food and then once you've got that craving, once you've got that, that you just want to eat, it's very hard to stop and I'm not ashamed to admit. I know deep down my body needs it, I need to get off the calorie deficit, I need to stop 
starving my body, if you like, because it's trying to fight against me. Um, so this Friday I'll be showing you I trying to work work my way gently into a calorie surplus for the next like six eight weeks. Give my body a break. Um, try and give it some fuel. Try and get some strength up. Try and get some good lifts in. Maybe try and gain a couple of pounds of muscle. Um, but yeah, just wanted to say that I can also go the other way. I have good willpower, yes, but in reality, we all do it. Everyone has it. And my way in actually hit about 86 kilos a day after. So that's crazy when you look at what I weigh today, how much that drops off. And in my head, I knew it was mostly going to be water weight. Um, but just seeing the numbers on the scales is tough. And even though I tell my clients and tell my friends, oh, it's not body fat, it's a bit of water weight, it will come back off again. Even though I knew that, even me mentally, it's still hard. Um, so we will go through it. So anyway, I'm going to carry the vlog over Friday. So I'll see you Friday. Good morning YouTube, it's time to go and train some shoulders this Thursday. Today I'll be discussing my new macros, new calories, a physique update, and new goals. Shoulder session complete. What a lovely day. I think I'm gonna sit on the grass for a little bit and discuss with you new macros and what's to come. Okay guys, so how I'm gonna be approaching my nutrition over the next, it could be seven, eight weeks. I'm gonna be gently increasing my calories. I'm gonna start at 2,700 calories. The macros will be on the screen now. Um, how have I judged this? I've judged this from just my experience what I've done before. I don't want to go in too heavy and just gain unnecessary body fat. Um, I weighed myself this morning, 79 point something, it's on the screen now. Um, I'm going to weigh myself once a week every Friday morning. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. If I don't gain weight, then I'm going to increase my calories. If I gain weight too quickly, I'll decrease them. Simple. Pretty looking for about half a pound a week, even though it's really hard to try and gauge that. but. If I gain like a pound a week, maybe not too bad. Um, so that's where I'm, that's my starting point, and I'm just going to judge it from there. In terms of training, my splits the exact same as when I showed you before I went on holiday. Um, I'm not changing that. Apart from my compound movements, my rest periods, I am taking a lot of time. So today I did shoulder press overhead. I took at least two minutes in between my compound movements. Um, I'm definitely getting stronger by doing this, obviously, because you're resting, you're giving your muscles more time to recover. Um, so the big movements at the beginning, pyramid systems, at least two minute rest periods, sometimes a minute and a half feel good to go, but a pre-workout or not. 
and then the rest of the isolation movements or the other movements 60 to 90 seconds rest in between um, but yeah you really using that pyramid system and getting a really big compound movement going um, big focus this next over eight months over back my back is a new goal of mine get a bit wider a bit thicker um, shoulders are still going to work on well shoulders will be one of my weak points so I was very happy today to shove um, 50 kg over my head for four reps so that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks so yeah they're going to be my calories and macros however to make it more flexible and so I can just enjoy life it's another reason I want to do this like a little lean gain whatever you want to call it it's going to be a bulk let's be honest it's, a, it's called a bulk lean gain um, I can be social I can be more sociable I can just go out and enjoy life eat a meal not worry about counting every macro and calorie possible um, I'm still gonna have a cheat day I'm just gonna make sure my protein intake is high enough for the day but I'm not gonna count anything I'm just gonna do it whatever I want to do um, but in terms of macros if I have a day where I've gone over my fats I'll just bring my carbs down so my main focus is purely gonna be making sure my proteins hit so at least 200 grams a day and then let the rest of the calories fall to carbs and fats and whatever I feel best and just let flat by it keep it nice and simple nothing too drastic and really just trying to enjoy the next seven weeks before I start prepping for the next thing which will be the World Championships Pure Elite so I hope you enjoyed the vlog guys I'm going to end it there like, comment and subscribe of course and I shall see you next week for the next vlog see you then